we worked on the fungus which is called Aspergillus. And Aspergillus is a mold which grows in the environment and usually breaks down organic matter. The mold might cause the diseases in humans, um, for instance allergic diseases, but also might cause invasive diseases, especially in those patients who have compromised immune defenses, like patients with AIDS or with leukemia. And one of those uh, Aspergillus species, Aspergillus fumigatus, is the one which is, causes the most invasive fungal infections. And these infections are associated with a high morbidity in patients and also with a high mortality. We have to look at risk factors in patients because we have to see if there are certain patient uh, factors, such as, for instance, previous exposure to azole, which increase the risk of obtaining an uh, azole-resistant isolate. This is actually the first study which shows that azole resistance has emerged in this scale. And there are no previous studies which, uh, which have shown this. And also, this is for the first time, I think, that we uh, have evidence, at least that is our hypothesis, that resistance to azoles in aspergillus is not only emerging in the patient, but also might be emerging in the environment due to, for instance, use of azole fungicides in agriculture or for material protection.